Okay, I'm at the in hope you can just start saying about our film and we can just start with us.
from this film. We wanted to put all our efforts into one film. So this is literally our blood and sweat. Hanuman is our literal, in literal words, it was a blood and sweat. So I hope you all like the film. It will be a fun entertainer for sure for this Pongal. What are the difficulties, difficulties to act like a superhero? Why do you choose this movie? Uh, there are no difficulties to act like a superhero. Only thing is, uh, the action sequences were very difficult. When you're a superhero, you shouldn't feel anything difficult, right? So, <laughs> it wasn't difficult at all. It was all very fun. It was very difficult uh, in, in the action sequences, but we never felt it that way because we, we love our job and uh, very passionately we have done this film. We have given our 100%. So, it was all a smooth ride until here. Hi. So, what is the biggest fear that you overcome after uh, completing the Hanuman? Because superhero genre is one of the most difficult genre to land up. So, uh, what was the biggest fear when you signed the movie? There was no fear while signing the movie, but me. <laughs> This is a this is a small on a funny note. Uh, while we were making uh, Hanuman, while we were in the making, suddenly Minan Muli was announced. <laughs> so, but we wanted to watch that film also. We loved that film, but uh, it is no way concerned with Minan Muli. This is another superhero film. This is another universe. Uh, there were not much difficulty. Yeah. Hi sir. Yeah, hi. How was your working experience with Prashant sir? This is my second film with Prashant sir. He is he is considered to be one of the greatest creative directors back in Hyderabad. Uh, it's always a pleasure to work with somebody who has a very wide vision of things and about the film. So whenever we are working on sets also, uh, we just imagine until the scene. But uh, what is on Prashant Garu's mind, uh, we can only see once we, uh, once the film is done. All the visuals that you are seeing also, we have pulled this in a shoestring budget. So, uh, it was a very tight thing that we have achieved. This is not a very, very big film. This is not something made on uh, hundreds of crores of budget. But this is a very small film. We have put our blood and sweat. Prashant Garu has given his 100% for the film. I'm very happy working with him. And in future also, I'm sure we'll be collaborating again and again. Uh, my question is, uh, it's like, uh, this, as I said, when the t-shirt came out itself, there was like a lot of discussion happening on uh, the quality of the VFX work that has been done. So what was that budget? I mean, also mentioned that you know, it's on a shoestring budget. So how was it and how difficult was it to pull up the whole thing? Uh, it is not really shoestring budget. Uh, when compared to other movies, we were saying in that day, like uh, there are so many big leagues like Triple R, Bahubali, made in hundreds of crores. Uh, now, even all these uh, high-end movies coming from SLR uh, or any other movie we can take uh, now, uh, Leo, Jaila, all these movies are made in hundreds of crores and uh, there were big casting. This is in terms of, uh, what we would say is in terms of actors, in terms of the director presence, whatever we were thinking, it is limited. It's not that we, we don't have hundreds of crores of budget. But it's not done in like 10, 20 year or so. So we, we, whatever the film needed, whatever the director needed, whatever the team needed, we were there. We did our full support. And we, uh, in fact, we initially started the full uh, Telugu feature film uh, when the initial talks were there. But later, once we believe in that content, Hanuman is the uh, hero, god, uh, everyone's... Uh, courage, everyone's uh, confidence, he is there everywhere. So after seeing that, we wanted to bring it as a, uh, this content should be uh, visible and it should be presentable to everyone throughout the world. It shouldn't be limited to a religion or region or something. Whatever the Indian uh, mythology says, whatever we believe in our Puranas, we wanted to make this as a bigger scale project. And uh, for that, I think Hanuman is our support. We could able to achieve this so far. And the tremendous response from all over the India and also America, other countries also. We received so much uh, unanimous support. There was no negativity. Everyone is so positive about the movie. We are happy for that. Whatever we are spending, uh, that every penny was seen on the screen. And today morning, the PR team and some other beloved persons have watched the movie. The first copy is almost ready. 
everybody was so excited everybody was in tears hugging each other so it's a, it's a kind of a movie the we feel that we are honored to do this kind of a movie and we would be able to present this this to everybody is because of hanuman's grace that's what uh, we strongly believe as a team thank you so it's like most release time for the youth cinema at sankranti and pongal release so how do you feel releasing a movie on a sankranti and you have opened march towards area and you are getting a clash with them so with gulur ram so how are you excited are you i've said this in uh, uh, I've, i've spoke to few of the telugu media also so there's this uh, thing in telugu that i said uh, uh, it's called poti uh, uh, competition is called poti so i said i am not poti for gundur uh, garam i am part of gundur garam that means i'm alongside releasing the film that is it we are not any competition or anything and over in the back in telugu also i personally feel we are all collaborating and not competing with anybody we are all collaborating with each other even ratneja sir's film is also releasing on a, in the same period but ratneja garu has dubbed for uh, a monkey character in uh, hanuman so that's going to be a very fun thing but that's only for telugu so we didn't mention it over here ratneja garu has dubbed in telugu for a monkey character so we are all collaborating over there so there's nothing of that sort like uh, competition or anything but i'm very very uh, happy uh, to release the film for sankranti because sankranti in our culture uh, a lot of families move to the theaters and watch films there are even families that only watch film for sankranti the whole year so this is the time where a large gathering of cr uh, crowds or audience we can cater our film to that is our intention behind releasing the film for sankranti uh, usually what happens is there All, all credit goes to my producers, uh, Narendra Nadigaru. Uh, I'm not aware how he has convinced or anything, but I'm really happy that we have such a solid, uh, uh, such a solid production house backing us. Yeah, just for sure. Uh, you said you watched Malayalam movie. How yeah. did you feel about the movie? I loved it. I loved. It. I watch all Malayalam films. After lockdown, you don't believe me. I start. I've started watching Malayalam. Recently, I watched uh, uh, Kannur Squad. Uh, I wanted to watch this film of Mohan Lal Sir Nehru. Yeah, that, that film I wanted to watch, but I've been promoting since last one month. So once I get time, definitely I'll watch that film also. We are not only me; all the Telugu audience have started following Malayalam cinema. Even when you don't dub the film in Telugu, also we are watching it with the subtitles. Since there are so many movies released in theme of Gondu Garam, uh, what are the VFX effects? But seems. Hanuman uh, trailer of Hanuman is different. Uh, is any conscious effort to reduce the overload for the narrative significance? No, this is not a uh, this is not an out and out God film. This is not a mythological film. This is a superhero film. As I told you earlier, this is about a, this is about a young boy getting powers with the blessings of Lord Hanuman. So it is about the boy. So it is not overloaded with the God element or anything. This will be a very entertaining film. It will be loaded with fun. It will be loaded with. Uh, songs and uh, superhero action and such so if you have liked uh, manal murli definitely you will love hanuman yeah. uh, this is ma'am ma'am uh, chitni ma'am is it like this movie is it like uh, there is two versions of it like there is a spiritual part as well as there is a scientific part right you, you see that so how will that how did you bring in that balance because the villain you can see that you know, he is like he is wearing a suit and all this is what i got from the trailer Uh, that is like a scientific part of it. Then when it comes to Anman, it's like there is a spiritual part of it as well. Right? So what is that balance that you plan, and how did you keep it? Okay, if I say this answer, uh, don't think again. It's going so spiritual way that we are believing in God in so much. Uh, wherever the science started, no one knows. Just like God, so we believe science is equal or uh, God is more powerful. That's why He created. elements like signs and all other things so that we can you know learn more things and uh, we can live on it more uh, uh, how would i say only we can live on it with more uh, thoughtful way so obviously science doesn't know many answers science doesn't know how the sun rises at a certain level exact things we we couldn't able to 
you know, we don't have some answers. There is some kind of a force is there. It's running throughout the universe. That's what we think. So the movie also shows the same. Even though science has uh, reached so many, uh, so much uh, high levels, we have so much intellectual things, everything. But there is some spiritual power that is more, uh, that uh, more than everything and anything. So that's how we presented the movie also. And ma'am, there's a small confusion regarding the title. Not a confusion, uh, but it's like uh, Anuman meant the name as in it, it uh, basically uh, it is related to a faith. Right. So uh, how would it feel like? You know, how would people from other faiths? You know, how would they connect to the movie or? know how acceptable the movie would be for them. Have you put a thought into that? Uh, actually, initially when we announced the movie, it's Hanuman. Okay. It's a man with superpowers from Hanuman. But uh, fortunately, everybody is taking it as a Hanuman only. Mm. So, that we feel somehow happy and connected to it also. And we also believe that, as I said, we wanted, we started this movie as a very a uh, small scale and low budget movie with uh, believe uh, belongs to one region something like that but uh, after seeing the comparisons and growth and like uh, the support from all the people i don't think so now it's a religious thing anymore everybody needs that support courage confidence so if we believe that uh, hanuman is there there will be some positivity there is there is no kind of a uh, uh, comment saying that it can't be happen something like that so maybe that's how it is happening and uh, I hope everybody supports also. Definitely, there is full support from us. Okay, well, I think the questions are almost over. So yeah. it's like a thanking down. Would you like to say something to them or uh, we can just finish it up? So uh, Hanuman, will be, Hanuman will be releasing on Jan 12th all over India. So in Kerala, all of you please watch the Malayalam version. We've put in a lot of effort to make it look like a real Malayalam film. So we've brought in the proper singers or the dubbing artists, everything has been done in a very good way. So please do watch the film only in theaters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a huge hit. And all the very best. And thank you so much, each and everyone. Thank you to all our media friends who are supporting us. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thanks all for coming here and uh, looking forward to coming back here again with another film. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. 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 Thank you.